Well, hello, everyone. I know some of you here, but for those of you who do, who do not know me, uh, my name is Zach, Seth Hoffman. Um, and this is my senior year here at UF, and uh, very excited for the next steps going forward uh, and where God takes me into veterinary school. Um, but a little bit about my walk in faith with God. Uh, I grew up in a Christian household, and I, I, I learned a lot about the, the, the Trinity and the purpose in life and the meaning of God. But I don't think I ever truly, truly understood what it means to live a Christ life life, to allow the Holy Spirit to work through you until this year, to be honest, the last six months have been absolutely a blessing for God. Um, it's taken shape in so many different ways. Um, some of those include being present to provide and being able to worship in the community with folks, being able to sit down in Bible studies and have small group discussion, and to have a mentor that is able to how open my eyes to, to God's work and meaning and understanding that. Um, it's helped me truly see what it, what it is to understand Christ and to live that life uh, for Him. So I, I just wrote a, a little piece about a little bit of what that journey is looked like for me, so I'll read that to you guys. Living a life for Christ is among the most beautiful and humbling of the where it begins is different for everyone, but God lays a path to Christ in this story. Each brick laid for each step in faith to be taken. Some days the sun shines bright on this trail, the stars light up each individual brick. Others, the fog covers that path and sometimes shrouds us from any sense of directionality. Outside this path lies temptation and false treasure, but fear not, for those who have traveled this path with bright lanterns for guidance and a message of what lies at the end of the path. The beautiful and humbling place of rolling hills and gentle waters. A seat at his table and a lantern of your own with a flame that burns bright with his love. When I think of what this journey to Christ looked like for me, it's amazing to understand the purpose God instills in us. How each birth was a lesson or sacrifice that led to that purpose. I've seen God's love on those sunny days and he brings blessings and good news and a future career into my life. I've seen God's grace on the days where the fog is at its heaviest, and I feel as though I am lost in that direction. The days where all I asked of him was for clarity in life to not be alone. By his grace, he shone that lantern's light into my life. God sent those travelers bright with his love into the story when I needed him most. Despite all my shortcomings and times when I stepped off his head, his forgiveness was boundless. The story of Jesus Christ in his life, death, and resurrection saved me from the consequences of those decisions. Christ ended this whole journey for me and brought about a new life. Without Christ's sacrifice, we merely full of hopes and dreams that won't be quite to the same joy of living a, a, a living a wonderful life in Christ. Hope from this overcomes all the fears and doubts that I have. I hope that faithful and committing to a life with my Savior will be a sad one. A life in which, by God's grace, prayers will be answered and His light will reach all seeking and in need. A life where this is an endless joy in knowing our King has forgiven us for our sins. A beautiful and humbling life dedicated to serving the purpose He has laid out for me. Thank you. sisters in Christ, how do you follow Jesus into the waters of baptism? Same questions. Um, do you renounce the power of sin and evil in your life and in the world? I do. Do you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, that his life, death, and resurrection are the only hope of forgiveness for you? I do. And do you promise to commit yourself to bear witness to that truth to the world at large alongside the body of believers? Then, in obedience to what Christ commanded for us, and uh, based upon your confession of faith, baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.